good morning everyone and welcome to the trade talk podcast today let me run you through with few developments on the global front mr donald trump said he would impose an additional 10% tariff on goods from china and 25% on all products from mexico and canada citing the levies as necessary to clamp down on migrants and illegal drugs flowing across us borders the dollar rose after trump's post on social media the offshore yuan and the peso weakened us stock futures dropped and asian equities are trading with mixed gains nikkei taiwan they are down more than half a half a percent to 1% and um, hang seng and shanghai are trading at an unchanged levels treasuries also dropped to 4.25 and uh, crude is also following to the same and it is down but the dollar index is now above the levels of 107.5 all these things are completely uncertain and this will keep the market little uncertain for the day our gift nifty is trading nearly 15 16 points higher however while looking at the entire setup and developments on the domestic front we are expecting market to uh remain better and if there is any correction then we should look for adding some long positions close to important supports like 24100 or 24000 on the higher side we are expecting 24500 levels if we see any rebound in the near term for the bank nifty 52500 going to act as major resistance and above that the chances of hitting 53000 or 53300 would turn bright broadly we are of the view that we should look for taking some long bets if there is any correction in the market or if we see the market is crossing its previous high immediate previous high of 24350 we are bullish on banks icici bank axis bank as well as we are also focusing more on uh, psu banks like bank of baroda state bank of india as well as punjab national bank along with this we need to focus on it companies and um, in that tech mahindra infosys should do well that's the overall view the positive part is that uh currency is is um, will weakness in the currency will help it companies in the near future and that's the reason infosys tech mahindra hcl tech should be on the watch list along with tcs that's all from my side with this i'm ending today's call thank you very much for listening me and have a great day to all of you